bait handles, I have found that uh, like areas underneath, you know, like when a, a, a guy has a real sunken in right here like this, mm -hmm. man, it's hard to get right there. And I, if I use the straight straight handle, much easier to get to it. And, and like sometimes underneath the chin, much easier with the straight handle. And then the other thing I have it real easy with is when guys have a, a uh, the goatee and they have this little area with the straight handle, it's I mean, easier. Like you say, you have a lot more control with it, but you're able to, to twist it without having without having to worry with with the handle being out extended or anything like this. And so you're able to because you're holding it like this, and you're able to come like this. Yeah, and with me having larger hands, it's even more. It's all the whole handle is in my hand. In your hand, so nothing else is exposed right. out, and I'm yeah. just going at it. Yeah, but that the, the, the more I played with it, when I when Dean first introduced me to him, I was like, I didn't like the feel of it. I just didn't, you know. And he said, "What well, track are you playing with it?" And I kept playing with it, and when finally I got to the point, well, God, I can't do without it anymore. Here, compared to here. The length that I have length. I have this much on the handle, on the folding, right. left out. Right. Compared to where here, nothing is out. And I use, now, my pointer finger is now my balance, my balance beam. Okay. That's how I use. How you, you're able to, to guide it. Into, guide it into those little areas. Yeah, opposed to trying to maneuver with the handle. With the handle. And using your fingers as as a, the, the point of moving it. Yeah, and my yeah. thumb is the brace. Right. So I actually use here to grip. My thumb is the brace. This is more for balance here. And that's for movement. And, and this is for movement of the blade for angles, but this is more of my pivot onto the skin. Okay. So I'll place it here and then drop. Then I can control it. Control it. You're able to move it up and down into a 10 degree 30 degree or 45 degree. And not have to worry about this uh, being in the way. In the way if I'm shaving. Okay. Yeah, I will use I will use this on the whole shave. And not and I change out. It just depends on how I feel. If I want to show out, I'm gonna pull out the McLaren. But if I don't really want to drive the McLaren today, you drive the Porsche. I drive a Porsche. Yeah. But myself, this is like I say, the the balance the, the weight balance and everything with this tool here for, for razor cutting is incredible. Yeah. It's just incredible. I also feel like an old school surgeon when I use that. When you pull it out, I'm like, oh, I got a scalpel. <laughs> <laughs> I got a scalpel in it. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, it's more, to me, that's, to me, that's like my paintbrush. That uh -huh. is like, that's when I really get to feel it and get the, into the groove. The groove of it, the, the, the final little touches mm -hmm. of, of the, with the paintbrush. That's like now I'm thinking about switching my, my tool back to a craftsman toolbox. To a craftsman toolbox? Right, hey, because I'm a craftsman. Yeah. I have many different tools, I'm just not as old as you, Franco. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get to meet Walt Disney myself. <laughs> Or David Crockett. Or David Crockett. <laughs> <laughs>